How is it going everyone? Welcome to my channel and today we are going to talk about XP Extreme Programming Values, Principles and Practices You know what mesmerizes me is that Extreme Programming was created in 1990s and even after 20 plus years it is still relevant to modern day software development so I thought this will be a great topic for all of us to understand for all software developers out there to understand because it indeed has the potential to increase the code as well as product quality. So I am gonna create a series of videos on this topic because this is a bit vast topic and we cannot cover it in one video but today I am gonna cover the basic foundation of extreme programming which you must understand before try to follow any extreme programming practices and the foundation is XP values, principles and practices and we are gonna look into this. So let's go ahead and start. Now XP is generally called as XP practices. So what is meant by XP practices? XP practices is all about change in approach and behavior when it comes to software development or programming. Now the heart of XP lies in programming how to make sure the code which developers write turns out to be better than what they used to do. And XP can be considered as a software development process framework but the heart lies in making sure that the code, the output is better. And that's why most of the extreme programming practices are even valid today as it was 20 years back. Now let's talk about XP age. XP as I told you XP is a set of values, principles and practices. It's very important to understand these foundations what are values, principles and practices. Now when I talk about values, principles and practices and I say you know just define me value, define me principle, define me practices. What will you say? Everybody understand what is the meaning of values, principles and practices. But it is difficult to relate these three. So what I am going to do is that I am going to talk about a series of examples which will help you to understand XP foundation which is XP values, principles and practices. Let's see one example. Okay. Let's first talk about values and practices. So you can have a value that you know your house is always clean. You can have this value that my value is that my house is always clean. But it cannot remain clean on its own. It needs something, right? It needs cleaning. But how will you do cleaning? So there are practices. You can do self-cleaning or you can hire someone for cleaning. Okay? Makes sense? There are values. There are practices, right? Values are something you truly believe in. My house should be clean all the time. That is my value. To achieve the value, you have to incorporate some practice, right? No value can be achieved without incorporating any practice. You have to incorporate a practice and in here, the practice is you will clean the house and there are multiple ways to clean the house. Self-cleaning, hire someone to clean, get friends to clean and there are multiple ways, right? Now, what are principles then? Okay. It's very interesting to note that principles guides how your practices will be and how you can achieve your value. In the context of this example, let's see this. This is what principle means that, you know, I have to clean my house, but you know, I can throw everything that is there in my house to the outside and then my house will be clean. Agent, right? You know. If there is nothing in your house, there is nothing to clean and your house is clean, you will throw everything out. This is what principle determines. Okay, principle determines that, okay, you need to clean the house, but you cannot throw everything out of your house to clean it. You know, you cannot come up with any random idea to clean it. Okay, so I hope you are able to understand the role of principles over here, right? You know, values and practices are bind together by principles. For example, let's talk about law enforcement. Country's value is that law is enforced. Okay. Practices are, you know, there will be different police department, different, different agencies that will enforce the law. 
the principle says that law enforcement happens without you know undermining the human rights are you getting my point i hope you do now let's take one more example over here in terms of software development our principle is we will have clean code having clean code is a value right but there are multiple ways to achieve this value maybe i can use tdd i can use refactoring and you know there might be any one x y z or a b c method will be there or there will be something called you know design pattern or something like that which will help me in making sure that my code is clean understand now principle is very simple you will make sure that you are not submitting empty file again if you submit empty file your code is clean because when there is no code in the file code is clean and nobody can challenge or do anything with this particular clean code where you are you are submitting empty file so principles binds values and practices principle guides practices okay principle helps you in realizing the value so here is what is meant by values principles and practices now values are non negotiable it cannot be negotiated principles are guidelines or constraint practices are concrete activities okay so this is what is meant by values principles and practices so this is what xp provides xp provides a set of values principles and practices the end result of which will be better code better program which in turn means better software better product okay so i hope you understood the basic foundation of extreme programming what are values principles and practices now xp has identified a set of values principles and practices so let's go ahead understand what are they and in later videos we will understand more of them so here is what is meant by xp values okay xp values are you know communication simplicity feedback courage respect these are xp values just like my house should be clean my code should be clean in a nutshell communication means that you know value the communication between people who are doing software development okay simplicity you know i am of firm belief that you know simple design trumps a complex design at any point of time so simplicity should be there feedback extremely important unless and until we get the feedback we will not know how we are doing and it's very important to get early stage feedback courage courage doesn't mean go ahead and fight you know courage means that you know if you think that this is the right way to do it you voice your opinion you make your observation this is what courage mostly means respect means you know as you voice your opinion you know as you voice your concerns you should be equally responsible to listen to it from someone else that is what respect is you should respect each and every one in the team who are doing software development okay so xp is based on these five values we will talk about all these five values in one of my video dedicated to xp values now let's talk about xp principles what are principles fast feedback you know feedback the faster it is good for all of us okay as a software developer simplicity that is there incremental change yes we need to change incrementally so that you know we see what is the impact of every new change embracing change okay no matter whether you did something or not by this point of time if for the greater good you need to discard and bring in something new embrace that failure and quality fail fast so that you can learn if you learn more you will give a better quality product now let's talk about you know xp practices this is bit detailed one 12 set of practices and it is grouped into four categories so first category is faster feedback test driven development on site customer peer programming so you know you may not end up doing all the xp practices or you may include some of the practices which actually helps the xp values but there are something like test driven development you can do without any additional cost 
and this is something you must try if you do not know what is test driven development i will highly recommend you to see my video on test driven development you can see a card over here okay okay so now next thing is continuous process everything is continuous in this world you know continuous changing i think continuous rotating similarly when you do software development if you have something continuous it will help you to create a better software which means you have to talk about continuous integration you know refactoring shorter releases this helps you again in increasing the code quality now there is something called shared understanding and i really like this particular practice this is something where you know collective ownership comes into picture so we talked about collective ownership planning game planning game is very important topic i will create a dedicated video on planning game but let's understand it that you know as people play the game where you know all the team members are involved they know what is going on to the game they know the rules regulation what will work what may not work the idea of planning game is to bring together people who are going to involved in some work and get the same understanding as a playing team gets okay simple design as i said simplicity terms you know complex thing at any point of time system metaphor which is again a different topic altogether but you know metaphors are extremely important again in designing aspect and coding standard you should follow and another important practice is developer welfare you know guys this is important because a software will be as good as the mental condition of the software developers developing the software so you know 20 years back xp provided you know 40 hours work week or maybe today work from home or you know something which help developer to you know regain their creativity take proper rest will ultimately helps in creating better product so this is what practices are all about again i will create a separate video on xp values principles and practices in fact multiple videos on practices okay so this is all about i had for today's video so i hope i was able to explain the concept of extreme programming xp value principles and practices and relationship between these three as well as what are the xp values principles and practices we will talk about more of these individual items in upcoming video thanks a lot people thanks for watching till the next time we meet good day goodbye take care